Hi guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living and in today's video, I would like to share with you five things that I will be giving up for 2022 in order to be the woman that I want to be as well as to live my Happily Ever After. So the first thing in which I will be giving up is sugar and flour. I actually gave this up around May 24th of last year. However, in full transparency, I added it back into my diet the week between Christmas and the new year. I added some sugar and flour products back into my life. And let me just tell you that the amount of bloat, inflammation, discomfort, feeling of heaviness, increased cravings, as well as just not having that control that I typically have over my food just was not worth it for me. So I will definitely be giving up sugar and flour for 2022. The second thing in which I will be giving up for this year are excuses. You know, not just for myself, because I know that sometimes I do tend to make excuses. Even the best ones are just not really helpful and they don't help us to reach our goals, but also the excuses that I tend to accept from other people. Personally, I'm a very forgiving person. I tend to extend more grace than what is necessary um, or even needed. So one of the things that I will be doing for this year and moving forward in order to be the woman that I want to be, as well as to live my full, true, happily ever after, is just being more aware of the excuses that I'm allowing others to kind of get away with, as well as the excuses that I'm using in my own life. You know, sometimes we're just not aware of the excuses that we give ourselves as well as those that we allow others to give and sometimes they can just hold us back and keep us from living the life that we truly desire as well as the life that we deserve so i don't know about you guys but this is something that i will be working on for 2022 it's just trying to eliminate the excuses that i give as well as the excessive excuses that i accept from other people the third thing in which i will be giving up for 2022 in order to walk into the life that i feel i truly deserve will be limiting beliefs now some of these limiting beliefs include one in order to make more money i have to work harder two everything has to be perfect before i even start three that all or none mentality definitely letting that go four wealth is for those people whoever those people are i truly believe that wealth is for me and my family as well five the scarcity mindset gone six i am letting go the limiting belief of feeling that i have to earn my rest like in order to rest or take time off or to take a vacation that i have to earn that versus it's something that i truly just deserve and the last limiting belief that i will be getting rid of is just the fear of saying no or being afraid to say no that goes back to that entire people pleasing thing that i talked to you guys about in the last video that girl has died so yes i will no longer be afraid to say no as i move forward into 2022. number four the fourth thing in which i will be giving up for 2022 is playing small yes so when i went through therapy last year one of the things that came up was that i was notorious for dimming my own light in order to make those around me feel much more comfortable through doing the deep work, we identified that previously in another relationship, this was considered to be one of my flaws and I didn't realize I was still holding on to that subconscious. Because I had my doctorate, I was too smart. Because I wasn't afraid of hard work, I was too independent. And because it was during a time when I was in the best shape of my life, I was considered to be too fit. And all of my success supposedly was holding the other person back from being the best person that they can be. Now, even saying that out loud, like it sounds kind of dumb, right? Like it sounds crazy but apparently subconsciously i have been holding on to this for such a long period of time and i had developed this fear of being my best self i had developed this fear of being too fit too smart too whatever because i had this fear that it would ruin relationships and that's just not true and to be quite honest with you if this does ruin any relationships in your life is this really a relationship that you want to hold on to anyways I now know that as long as my intentions are pure and as long as my intentions are well, I don't have control over the way that other people perceive me. Same principle applies to me also having this fear of outgrowing people. Same principle applies to my fear of others saying who does she think she is or she thinks she's all that. Dude, the truth of the matter is that I'm trying to outgrow the person I was yesterday and the day before and the year before. So, 
And yeah, although this growth feels good, initially it was uncomfortable for me. So I can only imagine if it may be uncomfortable for some people initially, but I really have no control over that. It doesn't pay, and I'm talking to you as well, it doesn't pay for you to dim your light or stay small just to keep other people comfortable. Because in the end, you're the one left not living out your full potential and not living out the calling that God has for your life. Number five, the last thing that I would be giving up for 2022 is living out of alignment. I am no longer willing to live out of alignment with the person that I am, the values that I have, and the brand that I'm trying to build. I can no longer force myself into situations or places that I am not wanted or appreciated, all in the name or for the sake of work, family, or just because I'm Christian. I can no longer spend extended periods of time in situations or with people that just wallow in negativity. Overall, I'm a very positive person and I'm also very sensitive to other people's energy. So I have to be very careful with the environments in which I spend my time in. I can just, I just can't spend extended periods of time around others or situations or just being around people that blame others for their mishaps, those that don't take ownership or responsibility over their own lives, those that just feel that life is happening to them and that life is not happening for them. I mean, that's kind of draining and my energy is expensive. The calling that I have on my life is important and it is so easy to just allow ourselves to be around those type of people and situations that drain our energy and it distract us from doing the things that we're really supposed to be doing, like me building this brand and hanging out with you guys. So yeah, those are the five things in which I would be giving up for 2022. I would love to hear down in the comment section, what are some things that you've realized that in order for you to be, be the individual that you want to be, to live the life you want to live, to build whatever it is you're working on, what are some things that you're going to have to give up for 2022 and moving forward? You know, a lot of times in life, we talk about New Year's resolutions and we talk about the things that we want to add to our life. And in my opinion, it's a lot easier to stop doing things versus to add because whenever we're adding things we have to create new habits new routines but whenever you decide that you're no longer doing something all you have to do is stop right so yeah these are the things that i will be giving up for 2022 feel free to leave my comment down in the description below let's get a conversation going i love to chat back and forth with you guys don't forget to like share and subscribe and i'll see you in the next video bye